What's up guys, it's Alex here, back for another video. And in this one, we are gonna be doing crypts with speed five units on dirt. So this will work for both Necro and Dungeon. Uh, if you don't want to do the crypts on, uh, you know, Gothran or Shakti, so this way you can do this on non-upgraded skeletons uh, with any other hero as Necro, and um, as Dungeon you can either do this as Shakti on unupgraded troglodytes or as any other hero with upgraded troglodytes. I do not recommend you do them with speed four troglodytes. So uh, this way, you know, you at least tie. Speed speed with the skeletons uh, with speed five so and you are going to be losing a little bit more uh, than you will if you're doing them with uh, speed uh, six skeletons or troglodytes but it will still be very manageable you will still only be losing a few skeletons the most important concept here is to use one stacks intelligently to kite around and bait the uh, units that you tie speed with or that outspeed you actually um, to kind of bait them around so that you know they're out of range from being able to attack you and you know you bait them to go within range uh, by sacrificing one stacks all right so size one uh, size one is pretty uh, pretty easy. You don't really need a lot of skeletons. I mean, you only need to one shot uh, ten zombies, right? So even something like 120, 125 skeletons uh, should be enough. So, and this is how you do it. You put um, your main stack of skeletons in uh, slot one, and then two one stacks. Uh, so slots uh, two and slot three. And we're going to be sacrificing the two one stacks. So all that you should lose here are the two one stacks. All right, so first we take out the skeleton. Then this stack is going to move up, but out of range of this skeleton, just out of range over here. And then this stack is also going to move up and again out of range of the skeletons. All right, now we take out the zombies here. Okay, that stack dies. Uh, this stack is now going to wait. And now it's going to back up. And now the main stack backs up into the corner here. Now we move the skeleton stack forward, but again out of range. All right, and now we have this configuration where we can pick off the stacks one by one. So we take out this stack, then we take out the walking dead, and then the skeleton stack. All right, easy as that, size one. Okay, so for a size two crypt, we are gonna be losing seven skeletons. And the reason is because we need to bring a two stack and a three stack to uh, be able to control the positioning of the whites and the skeletons as well. Um, that way they don't hit our main stack. So think about whether or not this is actually worth it, but you know, this way at least you don't take any hits on your main stack and those losses are still, you know, kind of acceptable. So uh, what we do is we put our main stack in slot four, a one stack in slot one, a two stack in slot two, a three stack in slot three, and then another one stack in slot five. And the three stack over here is so that the whites attack that stack and not this stack. Because when I tested this again, for whatever reason, uh, they were attacking this stack instead of that stack. And actually, even when I put a two stack here, they were still going for this one stack. So this is why we're uh, putting a three stack here. And you may want to test this technique out yourself a few times just to see their tendencies because sometimes they do move a little bit differently. But, uh, you know, if you do this kind of intelligently and control their position, you should still be able to do this without taking any hits on your main power stack. All right, so this stack is going to move down. Now, the reason that we have this two stack here is to kite this skeleton stack up like this. Okay, and now we can pick off the whites. And then this stack is going to go down out of reach of the zombies. Okay, now this stack is going to move horizontally as far as it can so that this skeleton stack attacks it. And now we can pick off the walking dead here. 
Now this stack backs up, but out of reach of the uh, Walking Dead. So make sure they have speed four, right? So you need to be over here. Okay, now we pick off this stack of skeletons. Now this one. And we're actually gonna manage to save this one stack as well. So actually only six skeletons lost. So pretty acceptable here. Okay, so for a size three, we're gonna be losing nine skeletons total with this method. Uh, and that's because we are gonna need to have a three stack in slot six and a two stack in slot three to bait the whites and the vampires in positioning that we want them to have. So uh, our main stack goes in slot two, then the three stack in slot six and the two stack in slot uh, three and the rest of the slots will be one stacks. And you do want to have enough skeletons <clears throat> to be able to actually one shot the vampires and also one shot the zombies. If you don't one shot or I mean the walking dead, if you don't one shot the walking dead, you will be losing uh, a few more skeletons here because you will not be able to buy yourself a wait turn uh, with this method. So you see the vampires move first and they go for the three stack and then the whites go for the two stack and this is the positioning that we want them to have. Okay, so first this one stack is gonna move forward to bait the skeletons to come forward and then we pick that off. Now we move a stack down. So the vampires are gonna move for that and then we move a stack this way so that the whites can move for that and we pick them off. Now, theoretically, it could work the other way, like maybe the vampires go for this stack and the whites go for that stack, but that still serves the purpose with separating them. So we should still be able to pick off the vampires then and then the whites uh, by controlling their position again. And this stack is going to be baiting the uh, walking dead to come up and then we're gonna feed that to the vampires who are gonna fly up and then we pick them off safely. So the main concept here is just to feed your one stacks properly and intelligently while your main stacks stays out of attack range of the uh, whites and the vampires and the skeletons also, you know, the things that can outspeed your or tie your speed. And then, you know, just feed them one stacks to bait them to come forward and then you attack them with your main stack, you pick them off. All right, so this skeleton stack moves over here just out of range, well, uh, not all the way to the right, but uh, one hex to the left of that, so directly below your main skeleton stack. And that's important because that's gonna give you enough range between the walking dead and the vampires when you feed this stack to the vampires. All right, so now we can just pick off the whites. And then this skeleton stack moves all the way here. And you see, now we can pick this stack off comfortably without actually um, being in range of the walking dead here. Okay, and unfortunately here, we're not able to buy ourselves a wait turn because of the uh, speed of the skeletons that we have and the Walking Dead, so we just have to attack. So here, if you don't want shot the zombies, you may lose one more skeleton. Okay, but we actually didn't. We did not lose anything else, so. All right, and that's how you do this one. All right, and then the size four is going to work the same way, basically. The only thing here is that you want to have more skeletons because you want to be able to one-shot the vampires. Uh, so somewhere around 170 skeletons is what you want here. All right, see, it works the same way. We bait the skeletons to come forward, kill the skeletons, move down, move up. Make sure that you're within range of the whites. And then the stack moves here. Again, not all the way to the right, but one hex to the left of that, directly below our main stack of skeletons. All right, pick off the whites. The stack moves here, pick off the vamps and the zombies. And that's it, guys. That is how you do it. So 
hopefully that this helps somebody. Um, you know, thank you guys for watching, and as always, uh, feel free to check out my Twitch stream for more English speaking Heroes 3 content. And uh, I will be back with a new video tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos. See you later. Peace.